Um, okay, three things I picked up from that that I'd like others to comment on. <coughs> Excuse me. Did we sort out the photos, by the way? Photos, he's going to change the PowerPoint and uh, both photos for your group. Okay, thank you. Um, suing the authorities, of find, uh, providing safe working places for sex workers. I'd like to know more from Marianne about that in a second. I'm sure others have questions as well. And then the issue of collecting so many fines that sex workers end up in prison. Sarah, could you comment um, on some of those issues in relation to the UK? For example, people may assume that the UK is a better situation for sex workers, and it may be in some respects, but are there measures that mean that sex workers end up in prison, for example, and other very serious consequences like that? And again, anything that your organisation is doing to deal with those, those problems? Yes, it, uh, what, Mar what Mariam has said is, is very, there are many similarities with the UK. And, and first of all, I was glad, so glad that you spoke about the situation of Roma people because um, there are people who are fleeing, you know, violence and they come to the UK and also face violence from the police, harassment and face deportation. And, and that is, a, you know, and some of those women are sex workers, so that is a very yes. serious issue. Um, it just, I'll say a bit about the violence first, that um, violence is on the increase, along with poverty, violence is on the increase. Uh, about half of women on the street have been attacked and about a third of women indoors have suffered rape or other attacks. Um, attackers know that sex workers are uh, very less likely to go to the police and often don't report violence and uh, immigrant sex workers and, all, and transsexual sex workers are particularly targeted for violence and are the least likely to get protection from the police. Um, women in our network have been threatened um, you know, by violent gangs and when they go to the police, instead of getting protection, you know, the police turn around and come back and arrest the women and, and to prosecute them. Uh, the number of women in prison has increased something like, I think it's, it's a 50% increase in the number of women in prison over the last 10 years. Um, on, the, what, on the question of safety, one of the things that we did a few years ago is to start a coalition uh, called Safety First, and it was specifically to um, help sex workers press for decriminalization and it was a coalition that was made up of families of some of the women who had been murdered um, it was made up of people from churches some feminist anti-rape groups lawyers um, and the idea was not to we weren't asking for pity or sympathy but asking for people to understand that when prostitute women, when sex workers are driven underground, we're more vulnerable to violence. And in fact, all women are more vulnerable to violence. Um, uh, we set up that coalition after, you may remember that five women were murdered in a town called Ipswich. And it was very shocking because the murders happened in a very short period of time, a couple of months. One woman after the other was murdered and the police did hardly anything to stop it. And it turns out that in that region, the, the, the rate, it had one of the lowest rates of prosecution for rape. So basically the police were hardly doing anything against violence at all. Um, what, there's some new laws that have come in. In 2010, a law came in that would partly criminalize clients. But hidden in that law, were, they changed the law to make it easier for the police to raid premises, to make it easier for, for the police to pick up women on the streets. And that legislation was backed by feminists. It was feminist, um, sort of right-wing feminist, working with opportunist politicians, and they drove that law through despite a big, a massive uh, protest, which was spearheaded by our organization, and many others were very uh, uh, angry about the law. 
And in that way, you know, we, we've really been up against, unfortunately, we've been up against feminists. They have really made it very difficult for uh, sex workers to organize. Okay, Cheval. Um, I know a bit about your work, but I want to know more, as I'm sure many people here do. Uh, could you say, I know one of the things that you have um, addressed is police abuse of sex workers. Could, and I know you had some success with that. Well, could you please say a bit more about that, the actions you took? Uh, we have, we have uh, this uh, punishment papers too, and also we discovered that the police, police uh, takes new action against sex workers and, and trans people called bonus system is because of that uh, promoting the police's motivation keeps high. And it's like like a tabloid. You know, t if you caught a terrorist, you get 1,000 points. If you get terrorist with Molotov cocktail, 1,500 points. It goes like that. And at the end, there is a known woman, known woman, and trans. It's just written like that, travesty. So. You don't, have, you don't need to do, you know, it's not a killer travesty or, 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 or criminal travesty. It, it's, it's just written like travesty. So become a travesty is almost a crime or you get punishment paper. We, we, we sue the, the head, of, head police officer of Istanbul and one, in one day in Beyoğlu region, the punishment papers are stopped in the daytime, because they also give punishment papers to the trans woman even in the daytime. And, and <clears throat> the, the sex worker group which I'm working with is, is maybe the, the, the lo lowest level about economically, and the largest uh, group. So as far as I know, you know, uh, in, in Istanbul, the, it's not a profitish job anymore. It, the, it's ridiculous prices. It, terribly low prices, they do this services. <coughs> 30 lira, 20 lira, or 40 lira for quick. But punishment papers are 79 lira. And one sex worker can get five punishment paper in one day. How the government supposed to, you know, I'm asking you, who is taking, who takes prostitutes money without asking <laughs> so I think they they, 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 they uh, say that uh, you are promoting or exploiting uh, sex work or, or you, you you make it look normal job like yes I believe that but also government uh, promoting and provoking people uh, for sex workers to do more sex working yeah. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes actions and, 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 and demonstration works very well. If you, if you create good public awareness and good press visibility, amazingly, they change their strategy, like in one day. But sometimes, of course, they ignore you. Sometimes they don't, they don't they, they, they ignore you, like you don't exist. Yeah, that is it.